What if one six trillion people lived on Earth? The Earth today has over seven billion people on it. This means there are over seven billion mouths to feed, seven billion bodies to clothe and shelter, seven billion lives to protect, and seven billion humans like you looking for their place in the world. The competition seems threatening, right? But have you ever stopped to wonder how it will be if the population numbers were double or quadruple what it is now? Having 7 billion people around today seems like a lot already. Well, what if there were 1 sextillion people on Earth? Scientists currently believe that the planet can only handle around 10 billion humans. Any population increase beyond this is bound to cause unmanageable strains on the Earth's resources. In this Mystify episode, we'll be looking at what life on Earth will be like if there were one sextillion people in it. The Problem of Space One of the major problems that a one sextillion man Earth will face is space. Over 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Of the land area, approximately 60% is covered by deserts and mountains, leaving just around 15 billion acres of land fit for human habitation. 15 billion divided by the current global population figure, which is around 8 billion, means there is currently about 1.875 acres of living space for each person on Earth. This is about the size of an American football field. A one sextillion population will mean hundreds of thousands of people will have to be crammed into every square meter of land. Not exactly the roomiest world to live in. Deforestation Furthermore, population increases have always led to spike in deforestation. At the Earth's present population, approximately 10 million hectares of forest is mowed down annually. At one sextillion, the unprecedented push for housing would see a total decimation of the Earth's forest reserves as all available land will be utilized for accommodation. Deforestation means the associated loss of forest valuable for agriculture and control of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas content of the atmosphere. This would certainly lead, as Malthus predicted several centuries ago, global warming will be totally unchecked. Food will not be the only scarce basic commodity in this world. It is currently estimated that 99% of the water on Earth is not drinkable. Over 2 billion humans currently lack access to clean water. There would simply not be enough water to go around. Here's an equally big problem. Where will they put their waste? Around 2 tons of waste is currently generated annually on the planet. At this rate, approximately 30% of global waste, running into over 600 million tons, is not properly disposed of. This figure would go up astronomically in a world of a sextillion people, and the resultant effect on the health of the planet's inhabitants is better imagined than experienced. Intensified Human Conflict The greatest threat to human survival in this world would most likely be man-made. With a population explosion, would come intensified struggles over the planet's vital resources. Governments are likely to lose control as people would take matters into their own hands, forming food foraging groups and gangs to seize and protect food and water sources from others. Violent conflict over these resources will be constant, bloody and desperate, resulting in large-scale casualties. Animal Extinction Lastly, one sextillion of us on this planet will mean the extinction of all other animal species. As the Earth's forest reserves are destroyed, the last surviving wild animals will lose their natural habitats and soon lose their lives to desperate human hunters. Domestic animals will be quickly consumed and the lack of plants to feed livestock will drive them into extinction. Hunger How on Earth would anyone feed one sextillion people every day? The fact that the Earth's population is at one sextillion would mean that 99% of the Earth's forestation will be used up for infrastructure and buildings so humans can live and work. This leaves almost no land for cultivation. So, unless scientists find a way to grow food in the sky, on water, or perhaps to chemically produce food in large quantities, a lot of people will die of hunger. Extreme birth control with possibility of forced sterilization there's a period in the history of India that is known as the emergency. During this time, 
Then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was convinced that the overpopulation in India had become an unmanageable threat to the nation's security and prosperity. As a result, he instituted a national emergency to sterilize millions of men by all means. If the earth were to inhabit one sextillion people, there would be harsh laws on birth control in every nation and forced mass sterilizations and abortion may become compulsory. No government will want to add to the already overpopulated regions and no well-meaning adults will want to bring a child to suffer in a dying world. High Death Rate Imagine if a pandemic like coronavirus was to break out in a population of one sextillion people. A lot of people will die because avoiding human contact will be near impossible in such scenarios. Other factors like congestion, hunger and conflicts will definitely lead to killings and death. When one sextillion people are roaming the earth, you can expect a lot of accidents that will end in major death. With the current damage done to the earth by 7 billion people, it's very safe to say that the planet may collapse completely if it were to house one sextillion folks. It may literally be the end of the world as we know it, an Armageddon of our own making. Fortunately, experts' predictions for the future are not all gloomy. While the Earth's population is expected to continue hosting more people, researchers expect it to reach a permanent plateau by around 2100. This prediction is hinged on the fact that significant reductions in birth rates have been observed in several countries. At that point, the global population is forecasted to be around 10 billion. For the sake of our species' survival, one can only hope that the experts are right on this one and will never hit the sextillion mech, or that we would have found another home planet outside the Earth before then. What if we found a way to live on Mars? Well, let's leave that topic for another What If episode. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click the next video on your screen for more amazing content.